Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna do a comparison of these three smokeless fire pits. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. And if you've watched much of our channel over the past couple years, then you know that we love smokeless fire pits. We've done a ton of videos on the Solo Stove and some of the various products that you can buy to go with it. We also did a complete review on the Brio Y-Series fire pit. And pretty soon we're gonna be doing a complete review on this Warm Bond Bond Stove. You may wanna subscribe so you don't miss that one. Several people have asked us which of these is our favorite. So we figured we'd put together this comparison video so you could take a good look at each one and decide for yourself which one you might like or which one you might want to buy for a gift. Now we'll also add here that we have affiliate links to all three of these fire pits. Basically that just means that when you click that link then we earn a small commission at no cost to you and it helps support what we do. Okay enough of all that let's review these things. I mainly just want to look at some key features so you can compare the three. There are a lot more details in the complete reviews that we did so if this video doesn't answer your questions you may want to go back and watch those reviews. First thing you can see is that they're all pretty close in size. With its adjustable legs, the Brio Y-Series can be up to 20 inches off the ground, which is slightly higher than the Warm Bond. The Solo Stove Bonfire sits 14 inches off the ground, and that three inch stand is gonna get you to about 17 inches. As far as the weight, the Bonfire is the lightest at 23 pounds, and the Warm Bond and the Brio Y-Series are both right around 31 pounds. As far as other size options, this is a Solo Stove Bonfire. So Solo Stove makes a Ranger, which is just a little bit smaller, and a Yukon, which is larger. The Brio Y series, this is the only size it comes in, but if you look at the X series, there are actually four different size options there. The Warm Bond Backyard Fire Pit, this is the only size that it comes in right now. They do have a tabletop, but this is the only one for outdoors. They're all three made of stainless steel. The Colored Bonfires and the Warm Bond have a ceramic coating, whereas the Brio is just the stainless steel inside and out. Now, as far as the fuel for the fire pits, all three of them right now are rocking pretty good with just wood. The Warm Bond, you can use wood or charcoal. The Solo Stove, you can use wood. They don't mention charcoal, but I'm pretty sure you probably could. And you can also buy a pellet adapter. Whereas the Brio is designed, according to their website, for wood, coal, or pellets. One question people tend to ask a lot is if it's safe to put these fire pits directly on your porch or on the ground. The solo stove technically is not safe to leave on the ground. You can see we do have it on the ground right now. Uh, that's just because I didn't want to put it on the stand for this video. But you would definitely not want to do this on your wooden porch or other more heat not resistant surfaces. The stand, you either buy extra or you can buy a package that is the bonfire and the stand, which is usually on sale for a really good deal. The warm bond, as you can see, comes with these platforms that keep it elevated and there's a heat shield that you attach to the bottom and that makes it safe for any surface basically you wanna put it on. And then of course the Brio has adjustable legs so you can elevate it where it is now or you can even take it higher. So that one again, also safe to put on the ground. Okay, as far as the temperature these stoves will create, I just now took the infrared gun and tried to just shoot it in the middle of each of the fires. They were all 900-ish to 1,000 degrees. And you can see right now that all three of these are burning really well, so it's a little warm back here. Now, one thing I can't test is how far out that heat is gonna go because there's not really a surface for me to shoot. The outside of each one was between 175 to 200 degrees, which is significantly less, but still plenty hot enough to burn you. Both the Solo Stove and the Brio have an option for a heat deflector. I know one of the complaints a lot of people had when we initially got them was that the heat stays mainly just right close to the fire pit. And that deflector, it actually does a really good job of catching the heat and pushing it out. So you can sit a little bit further back and still be warm. The Warm Bond is a fairly new product, so I'm sure that more accessories are coming, but they just don't have that option yet. Another thing that you may want to do is get some multi-purposes out of them and actually do some cooking. All three of these fire pits do have cooking options. The Warm Bond actually comes with a grill grate that just sits right there on top. And you can also buy a grill kit that comes with a lid and some gloves and some other things that is right at about $150. The Solo Stove has several cooking options, including a grill, a griddle, and a wok. And it's actually a really cool setup. You do have to buy the hub. And once you have the hub, you can use any of those three. Those pieces are cast iron, so that's pretty cool. 
And then the Brio has what they call the outpost grill. We used the outpost grill quite a bit whenever we were testing out the Brio. I will have to say that it is by far the easiest one to use because you can cook on it and then just kind of swing it out of the way and still use your fire. The other neat thing about the Brio is that you can easily put a skillet on the grill. They also have a skillet holder and a sear plate. So lots of different cooking options for all three. Now I know one of the questions people always want to know is how hard is it to clean these? Well, you can see uh, from this video that the solo stove is one that we've used a lot. We've had it the longest, so it's been very, very well used. Stainless steel is obviously gonna get discolored with the heat. You can use Barkeeper's Friend and wash that down real good if that's something that matters to you. Nowadays, we keep our solo stove in a surround, so you can't really see it anyway. So it clearly does not matter to us. Now, as far as emptying the ash out of it, the Warm Bond has a ashtray that whenever the fire's all died out, you can just pull that out and dump it out. The Solo Stove now comes with that removable ashtray. Now the Brio, unfortunately, you are gonna have to pick it up and dump it out to get all the ashes out. We already talked about the weight of these a little bit, so let's also talk about portability of these three. They're all three pretty small, pretty lightweight, so they're not at all difficult to carry. The Brio has a handle on the side, so you can just pick it up on the one side and carry it. You can also buy a carry bag. The Solo Stove has a handle accessory that you can buy. That makes it really easy to carry, or it also comes with a carry bag, so you can use that too. The Warm Bond comes with a carry bag too. It also has the option of purchasing wheels. You can put the little carry bag on it and just wheel it around versus having to actually pick it up and carry it. And here are just a few other things that you might be interested in knowing. The Solo Stove Bonfire, as well as the Yukon and the Ranger, can be personalized. So you can get like your favorite sports team or you can put in your own text and they can engrave your stove for you. I couldn't see anywhere where either of the other two gave you that option. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, the Solo Stove also has the option of a surround. Your Solo Stove sits in it and then it has a heat resistant shelving that goes around the outside as well as like a little curtain. That way you won't accidentally touch it, your kids or your pets won't get too close, and it also serves as a nice little shelf for your drinks or your food or your, of course, your s'more supplies. As far as I can see on the website, the Warm Bond nor the Y-Series Brio has that option. Now, one feature that really stands out about the Brio that the other two cannot say is that the Brio is made in the USA at their factory in Pennsylvania. If that's something that's very important to you, then you're gonna wanna go the Brio route. Which brings me to our next point, which is the price. So the Brio is gonna be the most expensive. MSRP is about 425, and I think a lot of that is because it is made in the USA. This one is adjustable, it has a handle, so there's several things, but this one is by far the most expensive. MSRP on the Solo Stove Bonfire is $2.99, but there's some sort of sale going most of the time. Also, if you use that affiliate link I talked about and the discount code that is in the description, then you can get an additional $10 off. And the MSRP on the Warm Bond is about $350. But that does include the grill plate and the carry bag and the things we talked about. And if you use the coupon code in the link that I talked about below for the Warm Bond, you can get 30% off of those which is gonna put you at about $245. And lastly, all three companies do provide limited lifetime warranties as far as manufacturer defects and things like that. Well, there you have it. Here is the comparison of the three smokeless fire pits that we have. I'm not really gonna tell you which is our favorite because our favorite may not be your favorite and it's really hard to decide. Hopefully you have all the information that you need to make the decision about the one that you think you'd like the best. Comment below and let us know the one you have and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Smokeless Fire Pit comparison video. While you're here, comment, share it, like it, subscribe if you haven't. Go to our website, readthisthingtv.com and subscribe to our newsletter for lots more cool information. Check out our Amazon store, check out our hauler store and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest.